What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I want to talk about the Vault of Glass, Cruelty's End and the Prison of Elders and what happens to them when the Taken King comes out. Now we all know Year 1 gear is more or less going to be completely irrelevant when the Taken King drops. So where does that leave the old raids and the POE? There is no way Bungie can be making the amount of changes they are with the Taken King and completely leave our year one raids completely pointless. They have to be making changes to these and I do believe they are. When me and a few other YouTubers were in Seattle, Luke Smith was asked about this very thing and all through he gave no details of what's happening, you could see in his face that something was definitely planned. I mean look at it like this, if you are a newcomer to the game, you start at level 0, you choose not to upgrade to that level 25 as you want to run through the whole story because you want to enjoy the experience of the entire game. Surely the way the new attack and defence stats work and how it all depends on light from your gear. The Vault of Glass, Crawler's End Raid and the Prison of Elders will be completely pointless to you because it will all be Year 1 armors and weapons. Yeah sure, the weapons will be fine if you're going to go back and play the Vault of Glass but what would be the point? I'm certain Bungie will make these Year 1 activities worth your time playing, I'm certain of it. They have to. Now nothing has been confirmed and what I'm about to say is just speculation on my behalf but this is what I believe will be happening. Now if you guys are relatively new to Destiny or even if you started playing the game around the time Crawl's End Raid came out, there's a good chance you missed what I'm about to state. Before we had the Vault of Glass and even around the time we did have the Vault of Glass and we could only play that normal mode, people had data mined the game and what they had found was extremely interesting, even more so now. A lot of people have forgot about this, but it's been something that's never left my mind. Basically, these dudes who data mined the game found two sets of Vault of Glass armors for each character. At the time, people were just shifting it aside as no big deal, and were just saying it's uh, tier 1 and tier 2. One set is unlocked for normal mode, and the other set is unlocked for hard mode. But when we actually got through that hard mode, people realised this was not the case. You got the same tier 1 armor from both normal and hard modes when playing the Vault of Glass. Everyone forgot about that tier 2 armor, but not me. On screen now I will show you these armor icons and their actual names which can still be found within the Destiny database. So what are these and how do we obtain them? I believe these armors will become available when the Taken King drops. I mean people love their raid gear and I am definitely one of them still rocking that Vault of Glass gear on my Hunter. How amazing would it be to be able to infuse old raid gear and be able to use this throughout your destiny life? I think this would be absolutely amazing and even if I am wrong about this and this tier 2 VOG gear, I still believe Bungie have something planned. Now I do remember a Crotus and Ray data mine and again two tiers of armours were found. But unfortunately that tier 2 armour eventually became the Prison of Elders armour. Now I really do hope Bungie update these old activities in some way or another so we have reason to go back and play them but only time will tell but guys what do you think about this let me know down below in that comments section thanks for stopping by as always hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one peace out until next time peace Get it right.